Hey everyone and welcome to a guide for Kingdom 2 Crowns. This time we're going to be looking at a few tips for surviving winter, so let's get started. Winter's a tough season if you don't know what to expect. Farms stop growing crops, animals stop spawning, and most mounts can't graze. But with a little preparation, all this is easily managed. First thing to know is when winter starts. Each season lasts 16 days and you start the game in spring, meaning the first winter should hit around the 49th day, that's IL in Roman numerals and if you pause the game you can see what day you're on in the top right corner. But if you just keep a rough idea of how many days autumn's been going for, and look out for trees without leaves or ice forming in the water, you should be fine. You may also want to think about taking out the portals on the dock side of the island, so you only have to deal with attacks from one side. This is something I tend to do before leaving an island anyway, so that I can build a lighthouse for an easy return, but it really isn't necessary. It just reduces the potential cost of repairs. It's easier to do this on earlier islands, as the number of portals on each side matches the number of the island you're on. So on the first island there's one portal on each side, on the second there's two, and so on. The last main bit of prep you can do is to start giving coins to your banker. This is the guy who stands in the middle of your camp every day once you've upgraded your town centre to level 4. Every time you give him 10 coins, he stores it, and it gets 7% interest per day, up to a limit of 8 coins. So for example, if you have 10 coins saved, then you'll get 1 coin of interest on the first day, and if you have 100 coins saved, then you'll get 7. To withdraw coins, you stand near the banker, and he'll give you a third of the coins saved, or enough to fill your bag, whichever is the smallest amount. This means that in emergencies, you can access all the money you've got saved, not just the interest. It's a good idea to have some savings for emergencies in any season, so long as you have the coin to spare. But there's still a few ways to get coins in winter, so it's not the end of the world if you've not been saving. The nighttime attacks in winter are the same as they are in any season, but the lower income means building anything new and recruiting more villagers gets slowed down, but it's still possible to continue as usual and destroy portals. You just need to be a bit more careful, making sure your defences are strong enough for a blood moon attack, and you've got enough coins to rebuild if not. As for getting coins in winter, First, if your town centre is upgraded to level 5, then you can recruit pikemen for 2 coins each. They defend your walls during the night, but during the day they use their pikes to catch fish. Each fish they catch drops 1 coin, and they usually get 3 or 4 fish in a day. Their pikes have durability, and will eventually break either from fishing or defending, so you'll need to keep an eye out for when you need to buy new pikes. Though they easily earn more than they cost, so it's well worth getting a few. If you're playing in the Shogun DLC, then you get ninjas instead of pikemen, but they act basically the same. They defend at night and fish during the day. They cost 2 coins and also have durability. Both these units can fish at any time of year, it's just more useful in winter. Farmers can still earn coins in winter, thanks to these bushes that spawn just for the season. You pay 1 coin and farmers can forage through each of the 4 bushes before having to pay again. Each bush drops 3-4 to four coins and takes roughly 10 seconds to forage, making this a great source of income. The bushes tend to spawn at the furthest walls of your kingdom, but I've also had them spawn well outside my walls, right next to a cliff portal, so there's some luck to it. The farmers return to the town centre during the night, which can slow things down if the bushes spawn far away. There's also a boar that spawns during winter. It has around 15 health and drops 30 coins when killed. You'll find it in a bush with piglets walking around nearby, and if you stand near the bush for a couple of seconds, it'll jump out, roar, and start charging at you. When charging, the boar moves slower than a sprinting horse, so it's easy to outrun, and hits from it act like regular greedling hits on you and your subjects, but it also knocks your subjects back and stuns them for a few seconds. If the boar hits a wall, then it will be stunned for 10 seconds, giving your archers a chance to attack it. But if you stay on the other side of the wall, it will retreat back to its bush once the stun wears off. There's also a strange interaction where the boar can't charge through the lizard's flames, but it doesn't get set on fire, so this can be used to trap the boar and stop it from retreating. One last thing to remember is that natural blood moons are more likely to happen towards the end of the season, so it's just another thing to be prepared for. That's everything for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and that these tips help you survive winter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.